subscribe and hit the bell icon. The Sumatran Rhinoceros. Hi everybody, my name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Let's play a game of hide and seek. I'm gonna close my eyes and count to 10. You hide and then I'll come and find you. You ready? One, two, three, Eight, nine, ten. I'm coming to find you, Hero. Oh, Hero, where are you? Aha! Whoa, you're not, Hero. Hey, you're stuck in a trap. Who did that to you? Let me help you. Easy. I'm just trying to help you. If you struggle, the trap will hurt you. There we go. That wasn't so bad, was it? It looks like it dragged itself all the way here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister, Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, Rhino. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about the baby Rhino. Bingo! This rhino is a Sumatran rhinoceros. A Sumatran rhinoceros? Yes, Sumatran rhinos come from the rainforests of Indonesia, specifically in Sumatra, Sabah, and Borneo. They used to be seen in parts of Malaysia as well. But not anymore? Some people believe that horns from rhinos are a miracle medicine, and people have been hunting them for a long time. Right now, there are possibly less than 80 Sumatran rhinos left alive. That trap from earlier was probably set by one of the hunters. Less than 80? Can't the zoos help protect them? Sadly, no. Only five rhinos have been born in zoos in the last 125 years. Rhinos need to be in the wild or they won't have babies. We've got to get this baby rhino back to his home and to his mother, then. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. This is in the middle of nowhere. I don't think we're gonna see anybody else for a while. Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Welcome to the rainforest. And what's this we have here? It's a Sumatran rhino. We're here to help it find its mother. Well, if you're going to find her, you'll need to know some things first. Sumatran rhinos can be quite aggressive when they think you're threatening their homes. And if it looks like they're about to charge, run away! So how do we find them? During the day, rhinos roll around in mud, also known as wallowing, to stay cool and keep their skin free from parasites. You can find them at hot springs because there's mud, and they like to lick the salt from the hot springs. They generally live alone. So they talk to one another by twisting small trees into certain shapes and by leaving marks in the soil. Rhinos can be hard to find in the rainforest, so you should look for hot springs or mud pools. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! I think she's really cute. It's a she? Well, the females have shorter horns than the males and... Shh! Do you hear that? It's getting louder. <gasps> run! She's still injured. She can't run. I'll distract the rhino. It's not working. 
take care of this, Junior Rangers. Run! Looks like they've gone. Phew, that was close. We must have gotten too close to that rhino's home. Which way now? We got lost while running away from the rhino. To find the young rhino's mother, you have to look for a hot spring. Good luck! So it was her mother all along. She wasn't chasing us. She was trying to get her baby. We did it! We found the mother of the baby rhino! Yippee! We found a baby rhino in our garden. And it was a Sumatran rhinoceros. We learned that there are very few rhinos left. If they continue to be hunted, they might disappear forever. So we went to the rainforest and brought the baby rhino back to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The sun bear. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Where are you? What is it, Hero? It's a bee. Careful, Hero. Keep a safe distance. The bee is collecting nectar from the flowers. Let's find out why. The bees collect the nectar and return to the beehive to make honey. What was that? It's a small bear. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Now hold still, little bear. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is almost done. This animal is a sun bear. It's also known as a honey bear because it loves to eat honey. So it was trying to steal honey from the beehive, but why is it called a sun bear? The name sun bear is because of the golden colored crescent shape on its chest. All sun bears have it. You can find sun bears in the tropical rainforests of Southeast Asia and other parts of Asia. So other than honey, what do sun bears eat? Sun bears eat both plants and small animals. They eat insects such as bees, termites, and ants, as well as small birds and lizards. They have big claws, which they use to rip open trees and termite nests. The sun bear you found is very young. Normally, sun bears stay with their mothers for three to four years. Well, I think we should help little sun bear find his mother back in the rainforest. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you brought a sun bear. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We are here to bring him back to his mother. That's great, Leo. But I have to warn you, though the sun bear is the smallest of all bears, it is known to be extremely aggressive. You are lucky you found a young sun bear. Then we'll make sure we keep a distance when we find its mother. During the day, a sun bear sometimes likes to sit and sleep in the trees. Though it's a strong animal, it still has predators such as tigers and leopards. 
The main predator of sun bears, however, are humans, who hunt them for their fur and meat, or who keep them as pets. Good luck, Junior Rangers! Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! What's the matter, guys? Why did you stop? It seems like they don't want to go into that direction. If we want to find the Sun Bear's mother, we have to continue. Let's go! Oh, what's that smell? Yuck, I smell it too. What is it, Hero? A flower? I think the smell is coming from this. This is a Rafflesia flower. They are one of the largest known flowers in the world. So why are there flies? The Rafflesia flower releases a bad smell to attract flies to spread its pollen. That's very interesting, Katie. But let's not stand too close to them. Quickly, let's go. The Sun Bear and Hero tried to warn us. Both of them have a very strong sense of smell. Ah, uh, it still smells horribly here. Oh no, so many Rafflesia flowers. <laughs> Let's follow them. Their noses can help us find a way out. We better stay here, little sun bear. It's up to you now. We did it! We found the sun bear's mother! Great work, everyone! Hooray! We found a young sun bear in our garden. We learned that a sun bear is the smallest of all bears, but they can be very dangerous. The young sun bear needed his mother, so we went to the forest and returned him home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The Malayan tiger. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. You're just in time, Hero. Let's see who's stronger. I challenge you to a game of tug of war. <laughs> you take this end of the rope, and I'll take this end. The first one to pull the flag past their line wins. Ready, Hero? And go! N not bad, Hero, but I'm not gonna lose. <gasps> what? Ow! What are you? Are you some kind of cat? Those are some beautiful stripes on its fur. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, Kitty. Hi, Katie. Did you find more information about the cub? Hi, Leo. I sure did. The cub you found is a Malayan tiger. A Malayan tiger? Does that mean it comes from Malaysia? That's right. To be specific, Malayan tigers come from the forests of the Malayan Peninsula in Southeast Asia. But they can also be found in Southern Thailand. I see. So what do Malayan tigers eat? Like all tigers, Malayan tigers are meat eaters. They usually feed on deer, wild boar, and sun bears. But when there isn't enough food, Malayan tigers sometimes attack people and farm animals. Because of this, many tigers are illegally hunted by people. Tigers are also hunted for their body parts, like their skin. This illegal hunting is the reason why Malayan tigers are critically endangered. That means Malayan tigers are very in danger of disappearing forever. There are only about 250 Malayan tigers left in the wild. Oh no! 
We should protect Malay and tigers so they'll still be around in the future. You're right, Leo. But a tiger cub needs to be with its mother so it can learn how to hunt and get milk to grow. Only its mother can protect the tiger cub. Then let's bring the tiger cub back to its mother. Come and join us. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Rocky. Welcome to the forest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought a Malayan tiger cub. Yes, Ranger Rocky. We're here to bring the tiger cub back to its mother. That's great, Leo. But you must be careful not to get close to adult tigers. They might mistake you for prey and attack. Oh, dear. We'll be super careful, Ranger Rocky. What else should we know about Malayan tigers? A mother Malayan tiger usually has one to five cubs. These cubs stay with her for a year and a half before leaving to find their own home. During the time with their mother, the cubs will learn how to hunt and stalk prey. If you want to find the cub's mother, you should keep a lookout for places with tall grass. Tigers prefer to live in tall grass, where they can hide from predators and ambush their prey. Good luck and stay safe, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. We're here. Hmm. I don't think it's safe for us to look for the cub's mother in the tall grass. We won't be able to see her coming. What if we look for the cub's mother from up there? Good idea, Katie. Come on, everybody. Let's fly. Tiger cub! Oh no! The tiger cub jumped into the tall grass. We have to find it. Where did the cub go? Leo, could the tiger cub be in there? Or maybe it's over there. The tiger cub might be in one of the grass patches. But we can't go into the grass to check. There might be predators in there. Hey, I've got an idea. I'll use this. Great idea, Leo. Let me try it. Tiger Cub. I got you, little one. We did it. We found the Tiger Cub's mother. Great job, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a Malayan tiger cub in our garden. We learned that Malayan tigers are endangered and that tiger cubs need their mother to be protected. So we went to the forest and brought the tiger cub back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. The reticulated python. Hi, everybody. My name is Leo. I am a junior ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. What's the matter, Hero? Hey, stop it, Hero. What are you doing? It's just a jumping rope, Hero. Did you think it's a snake? Hmm. Why don't you look for snakes in the garden? Just bark if you find one. Don't worry. There are no snakes in this garden. That's impossible. Maybe Hero found another jumping rope. Let's have a look. What is it, Hero? Wow, it's a real snake. And it's so big. And are those its eggs? Hero, don't get too close. It could be dangerous. 
Don't worry, Snake. I'm not going to hurt you or your eggs. I wonder how it got here. You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hi, Katie. Did you find anything? You're just in time, Leo. The computer is looking for information about this snake. There we go. This is a reticulated python. A reticulated python? Yep. Reticulated pythons are one of the largest snakes in the world and are found all around Southeast Asia. One of the largest? How big do they get? They can grow longer than six and a half meters in length, which is like four people standing on each other's shoulders. Normally, they eat small animals like rats and birds, but they're also known to eat dogs, cats, pigs, and even small bears. Pythons normally don't attack people, but to be safe, it's better to keep a distance. Are they poisonous? The correct word to use is venomous. And no, they are not. They are just very strong. Why do you think this python is in a cage? Some people keep pythons as pets. Maybe someone abandoned it when it laid its eggs. Poor python. We've got to get this python and her eggs back into the wild. The city is no place for her. That's a great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Here's a good spot for us to stop. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. What brings you all the way out here? We found a python with her eggs, Ranger Rocky, and we're gonna set her free. That is a big snake. You know, reticulated pythons are great swimmers and sometimes hang from the branches of trees to attack their prey. Their name comes from the pattern on their skin which looks like a net and helps to hide them in the jungle. What about the mothers and their eggs? They can be quite protective of their eggs, and they can lay up to 80 of them at a time. If you want to find a good place to let it go, look for a place near water, like rivers and lakes. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. <laughs> Whoa! Oh no, Leo! Hero, be careful! Leo, are you okay? I'm fine, Katie. But the mother python disappeared, and Hero needs our help. Let's go and find Hero. No, Leo. Hero led the hippo away from here to protect us. Hippos are extremely aggressive and too dangerous to follow. You're right, Katie. Hero knows what he's doing. He should be fine. Let's look for the mother python, then. If there are hippos, there should be water around. The mother python could be there. We didn't find anything. Normally, it's Hero who helps us find what we need. Look, we're back where we started. Hero! You went back where we last saw you. You're such a smart dog, Hero. Now Hero and the eggs are safe, but only the mother python is still missing. There's the mother python! Let's keep a safe distance. We did it! We found the 
another python! Hooray! Yay! We found a python and her eggs in our garden. It was a reticulated python. We learned that reticulated pythons are the largest snakes in the world and that they are great swimmers. So we went to the rainforest and brought the python and its eggs back to its natural home. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Hola, exploradores juniors. Check out our Spanish channel by clicking the link in the description below. See you there.